In this video, I'll show you how to use Final Cut Pro's new object tracker to track a color correction to a moving object in a shot. Now I've got this shot of a boat, and to start this process, it's important to move to a point in the clip where the whole object is visible. And look, there should be fine. I'm now going to go to Effects, to Color, and use the color correction uh, effect like the color board or color curves or color wheels that I want to use to perform this correction. I'm going to drag direct to the viewer, and you'll see that Final Cut Pro will automatically detect an object in the shot. It's detecting the boat pretty well in this, but I could move around and it might manage to detect uh, objects that maybe aren't there, or just fail to detect objects entirely. Now if it can detect an object, it'll place the shape in exactly that area. You can correct this yourself. So you can move, adjust the edges, rotate if you need to, and move between a square and an oval, or a rectangular and an oval shape if you wish. At the moment we're adjusting the tracker, but later on we'll be adjusting the shape. Right now they're the same, and we'll come back to that soon. In the top left I can analyze in both directions, or in one particular direction. But this will start at the current playhead in the clip. I'm going to analyze in both directions, and you'll see it's using combined analysis. It has a couple of different strategies, and it's tracking forwards through the shot. And at some point it may fail as it goes out of the shot, but here I think it'll just about be okay. And it goes back to where we started and tracks backwards as well. Now, there are different analysis methods, and you can switch between them if you wish, but now that it's complete, you'll see that we've got a track, we've got a shape, and it's gone a bit fuzzier. So it's created a shape with a fall off the same as the tracker. And you can switch between these two to see that if you wish. Now, I'm going to go quickly to the color board just to make a change. I can, as with any other shape mask, adjust the inside or the outside of the mask. So I'll adjust the outside and turn everything else down, just to make it clear what we've tracked. I'll also adjust the soft edge of this by going to Shape, and then dragging that edge in, so that it has less of a fall off. And now if I play this clip forwards, you can see exactly where the shape has been tracked. If you use a softer edge, then the edges are far less obvious. So the more subtle a change you make, the more likely you are to be able to get away with it. If I turn that off, that was the original shot, and now the track shot to darken down everything except the boat. Now if I make further changes to the shape, for example if I was to make this less wide, that will also currently affect the tracker. This is probably a bad idea, because it's only affecting a single frame in the track, rather than the whole track. Probably not what you wanted to do, so I'm going to undo that. If you do want to adjust the shape throughout the whole clip, then you'll want to unlink the shape from the tracker. Now I can adjust the shape, maybe make it a little bit smaller to make the effect less noticeable, maybe move it down a tiny bit, and now that shape will be scaled and rotated as it moves throughout the shot. As another quick example, I'll show you this shot, and I'll drag color wheels to the face. I can just go straight to analyze, and this face isn't moving very much, but it still benefits from a quick track. Now if I want to just quickly maybe make that face much pinker, I'll go to the shape, unlink from the tracker, and now make it much smaller with a larger fall off, and that's it. I can very quickly make a fairly large change to this clip. And I can change my mind, reposition further, maybe extend that out a little bit higher without retracking. The tracker is still the original shape it was, but the shape has been offset and resized since the track was created. In the next video, I'll show you how to work with multiple tracks, and also how to correct a track if it goes wrong. 